Well, Gideon Levy is a columnist at Haaretz and author of The Punishment of Gaza. He joins us now from Tel Aviv. Good to have you with us. So, first of all, losing eight soldiers in one day, if not one operation, from what we understand from the Israeli announcement, that is a big number in the historical context of Israeli casualties and military operations, right? Absolutely. I mean, it's not unprecedented, but it is a very meaningful uh, figure, even though let's remember Sam, that uh, 38 people of Gaza were killed today. But it, it is different, and eight soldiers is a, a big, heavy price for Israeli society, especially when it gets into the total number and the total atmosphere in which day after day, almost every day, we hear about losses of, of uh, soldiers and more and more people in Israel ask what for and until when. Uh, Gideon, what do these casualties tell us about the war and how operations in Rafah are going? It tells us what we know, Sami, for a long time now, that this is endless. This war will, uh, might become an endless war, a war of attrition, in which as strong as the Israeli army is, the, uh, the Hamas forces can always kill and sabotage, and, and, and then there will be the retaliation. It leads nowhere. And it is endless. They will never be achieved this ridiculous total victory that Prime Minister Netanyahu is speaking about. And there will be no defeat here. It will go on and on and on until Israel and Hamas, but mainly Israel, will realize that it leads to nowhere and it must stop in any price. How might it impact, do you think, military thinking and the relationship between the military and the Netanyahu administration? As you know, Sami, the relations are quite tense because Netanyahu is trying to put all the responsibility for the 7th of October's uh, um, failure on the army and cleaning himself. But they operate together and uh, look, as tragic as it is, it's not a strategic point. It's not a strategic event. I mean, the war looks the same after this loss, even though it's very painful, but it didn't change strategic things. And the eyes, I must tell you, Sami, are much more focused now to the north because the big danger is waiting there. Is it likely to impact public opinion? Not by itself, but you know, it's, uh, it's another victim and another victim. More and more people who get to this circle of, of mourning people, personally mourning. More and more people will ask until when and what for. But it's a very slow process. As I said, Israel tomorrow will be the same Israel of yesterday, and the war of tomorrow will be the same war like today. Thank you very much, Gideon Levy there, columnist at Haaretz. Thank you. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.